Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for bringing us together to celebrate this graduation day of these students. We thank you for your faithfulness over these past years that make this day possible. We are thankful for all of the hard work that these students have done in order to complete their studies at Gordon. We are thankful, too, to the many parents, families, and friends who have made many sacrifices so that these students could be attending Gordon. We are thankful to the hundreds of faculty and staff at Gordon who work each day to ensure that these students have the very best experience and preparation possible. Lord, we ask you for your blessing on this day and upon these students. In the name of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated. The scripture reading is from Isaiah chapter 61. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. Strangers will shepherd your flocks. Foreigners will work your fields and vineyards. And you will be called priests of the Lord. You will be named ministers of our God. You will feed on the wealth of nations, and in their riches you will boast. Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. And instead of disgrace, you will, receive, you will rejoice in your inheritance. And so you will inherit a double portion in your land and everlasting joy will be yours. It's my great honor to welcome all of you to these very special commencement exercises, an occasion where we mark actually the beginning, not just the conclusion in the lives of our graduates. I wanna extend a very warm welcome to all of our guests, to our parents and grandparents, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, friends, faculty and staff colleagues, supporters, members of our Board of Trustees and our Golden Reunion alumni, and most importantly, the graduating seniors of the class of 2016. This is a very special class and today we honor the future that lies ahead for them. We're also reminded of the frailty of life as we remember our friend and classmate, Monica DeMillo, whose life was tragically taken during this class's freshman year. To honor her memory, we've set aside a seat with a flower to remember the life that she brought to all of us and to remind all of us that no one is promised tomorrow. This morning's graduates hail from 29 different states and 14 different countries. Seniors, you arrived on our campus on August 24th, 2012. That was 1,359 days ago. In the intervening time, the class of 2016, you have spent on average over 10,000 meal points and walked at least 120 laps around Koi Pond. 16% of the graduating class participated in one of the dozens of mission trips the college sponsors each year, serving in places such as Northern Ireland, Mexico, the Ukraine, India, China, Sri Lanka, Romania, and Swaziland. In addition, 35% of you have studied off-campus in one of our off-campus programs, 
and a dozen of the graduating seniors have participated in one of the Gordon Global Internships in places such as New Zealand, Hong Kong, and the UK. This has been an exciting year in the life of the college with record enrollment on campus as we also concluded the Year of the Scott, which included record-setting performances by so many of our student athletes, including the men's soccer team who won the conference championship this past fall. In case you're wondering, the top three majors of the graduating class come from business, psychology, and English. No matter your major, if you're a graduating senior, we believe you've written at least 50 papers while studying here. And if you have followed the expectations of your academic performance, you've studied for at least 8,000 hours. That represents an entire year of your life. So take the afternoon off. <laughs> Graduates, you have worked so hard, and I know that you're eager to finally receive the war reward for all those late nights in jinx. But before we send you out on what God has in store for you next, I want to remind you of three things. And for that, we reflect on the passage from this morning, Isaiah 61. Verse 1 starts by saying, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release for darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and to comfort all who mourn. This is how this ancient passage of Isaiah 61 begins. And you recall, this is the very passage that Jesus invokes in Luke chapter 4. There's a very simple message here. We are blessed to be a blessing. That's a mantra we have shared with you over the last four years while you've been here. But as you go forth, I want to remind you of it one final time. There's never been a generation of Christ followers who are more blessed than we. And now, graduates, as you complete your degree, you join a very special group. For 99% of the people who have lived in this world have never achieved what you are achieving, a college education. Scripture teaches us in Luke chapter 12, unto him much is given, much is required. And Isaiah 61 makes clear of what's required of each of us. To share the good news with the poor. To meet those on the margins, wherever they may be. And to help bring the good news that we know to be true. Some of you graduates know exactly where you're going as you pass forth from this place. For others you're still trying to figure it out. When I graduated from college, I was in that latter category. So I'm living proof, mom and dad, you can actually get a job eventually. <laughs> Wherever you go, graduates, we want to urge you to take up the attitude of a servant, to bind up the brokenhearted, to comfort those who mourn, to be a faithful presence of making a positive difference in the wider world. If you hear one thing from us this morning, hear this. You are blessed to be a blessing. And there are many places that you could serve. Graduating seniors, if you're still looking for ideas, send me an email on Monday. We have uh, friends all over the world doing some amazing things. Graduates have gone on to make a positive difference. Prashan Visser's work in Sri Lanka is an example of that. Ed Brown's work leading creation care. Or Michael Messenger, a Gordon graduate who heads up World Vision in Canada trying to serve poor children around the world. We are blessed to be a blessing, and so we ask you to also be that blessing as you go forth from this place. Verse 3 introduces an interesting metaphor for God's servants. It says, They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of His splendor. If you read this passage carefully, you realize that this is one who turns a spirit of despair into a garment of praise, as one who turns ashes into a crown of beauty. You see, friends, the messenger from God is a change agent. Graduates, you're called to display the, the splendor of God's righteousness, to become oaks of righteousness. Righteousness is not a term, actually, that we hear all that often these days. 
Our culture is uncomfortable with calls to holy or righteous living. And yet that's something that we are all called to do. So how do we do it? Each of us fall woefully short of that calling. I certainly do. But may I be so bold this morning to suggest one way in which we could demonstrate righteousness in our life today. It's in our words. Big milestones like college graduations can be exciting days, but they also can be stressful days. Moving out of residence halls, saying goodbye to dear friends, embarking on new adventures that are filled with more uncertainty than clarity. They can push each of us to be stressed and to say things that we regret. I still remember moving out of my apartment after graduating from college, and I know how stressful it can be on those kinds of days. Sometimes we say things that are hurtful or mean or just occasional slights when we're pushed to the limit. But scripture says to us, let no unwholesome talk come out of your mouth. So today, I would encourage you to take on that imperative. Let's pursue righteousness, especially with those who have come to support us and show love to us. Let's pursue righteousness by making our words today full of love and kindness and gratitude. You are oaks of righteousness, graduates, mighty example of God's splendor, with roots that go down deep and strong branches to provide support for those who need a resting place. We think this is a really important passage of Scripture, so much so that we have decided to try and create a space where we can be reminded of it on a regular basis. Graduates, when you return in the fall for homecoming, we will be in the process of dedicating a new mezzanine outside the Center for Student Development in the Lane Student Center. It will be named for Steve McLeod, our longtime colleague who passed away last year after a courageous fight with cancer. Steve served for many years as the Dean of Students here, so it seemed fitting that we would dedicate a space outside of the Center for Student Development in his memory. We're very grateful that supporters have come alongside to make it possible for us to engage the work of an artist with Gordon Ties, adjunct professor of art Shelley Bradbury, to design a rendering of a giant oak tree complete with branches, leaves, and acorns that are inspired by this passage in Isaiah 61. It will be installed over the summer in a space that will now be called McLeod Mezzanine on the second floor of the Student Center. The space is designed to reflect sun-dappled light rippling through the branches of a giant tree, and it will draw, draw the viewer's eyes upward to the sky. But there will also be acorns as part of the installation, and they may be the most important element. You see, graduates, we each begin as a tiny seedling. But by God's grace, we grow into the man or woman of God he has for us. Our resident naturalist, Professor Dorothy Borse, has given me some information about oak trees. There are approximately 600 existing species of oaks. 90 of them occur here in the U.S., Acorns will take 6 to 18 months to mature, depending on the species. And oaks are hardwoods that grow slowly. The oldest oak tree in the U.S. is estimated to be 2,000 years old. But their slow-growing nature creates dense wood that's hardy and can be used for different purposes. And so it is with us. We each have different callings, different places of service. And this brings me to the third thing I wanted to remind you of today. The Lord promises those who are oaks of righteousness an inheritance that is a double portion and what Scripture calls everlasting joy. It's a natural progression. You are blessed to be a blessing. You are called to be oaks of righteousness and will be granted everlasting joy. Now, this doesn't mean graduates of the path will always be easy or that your investments will always double. No, this is about taking the long view, what Eugene Peterson has referred to as a long obedience in the same direction. Christian faithfulness grows from a tiny acorn into a giant oak of righteousness, not because of what you and I do, but because of what God is doing in and through our lives. As God's trees, we are not responsible for the soil that we were born into, nor can we control how many sunny or rainy days will fall within our lives. But we are responsible for the direction of our trajectory. 
of opening ourselves up to grow toward the sky, to grow toward God. Isaiah admonishes us to be people who display God's splendor no matter the circumstances. And I think that's a good word for us today. Just as oaks produce acorns for the growth of more oaks, so also we are called to have a multiplicative effect for good. So my word of encouragement to the class of 2016 is to actively seek ways to, to show God's splendor, to pursue godly living as you go forth from this place. It's interesting because each tree, an oak tree, will produce somewhere around 2,000 acorns a year. But most of them will not become oak trees. Some will end up, as Dr. Borst has written, on the bottom of the pond or get paved over in roadway renovations. Or like the parable states, some will fall on barren ground. Most will be used as food for small animals. In fact, only about 1 in 10,000 acorns will manage to become a fully developed oak tree. But every so often, oak trees experience a an unusual season where they produce many more acorns than usual. This is referred to as a mast year. During this mast year, the trees put tremendous energy to, to produce a lot more acorns. Instead of 2,000 acorns, they'll produce about 10,000 acorns in that single year. And not just one of the trees, but all the trees in a region will do that all at once. This high production, when all the oaks in the same area produce large number of acorns, means that the animals, they can't eat all the acorns that are available. And as a result, more oaks germinate and grow and produce a small cohort of oak trees that will grow up together. It's interesting also because oak trees will typically absorb 50 gallons of, of water, can do that even in a single day. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And over the last four years, graduates, you've soaked up a lot of the water that our faculty have provided. You've survived TGC and Bio 250. You've mastered Bible classes, even with Dr. Darko. And you've amassed over 200 claw credits. And we will not be swiping your ID as you leave today. <laughs> but now, in what is your mast year, we are sending you out to become Oaks of Righteousness. A planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. As you go forth from this place, remember that you have been blessed to be a blessing. That you have been called to be oaks of righteousness. And that you were promised, as a result, everlasting joy. We are proud of you, graduates. We thank God for each of you. And we want the Lord to bless you in extraordinary measure. Let's pray and commit you to him now. Gracious God, we thank you for these graduates, each of whom represent different lives with different backgrounds and experiences. We ask that you will guide and direct them as they go forth from this place. May they continue to be oaks of righteousness to display your splendor. And may they enjoy the inheritance of everlasting joy. This we pray in Christ's name. Amen. At Gordon College, an honorary degree is an opportunity to publicly recognize exemplars, individuals whose lifelong vocational achievements and personal values reflect Christian principles of service, excellence, and compassion, as well as uncommon courage tempered by everyday faith, the very same qualities that Gordon College can trace back to its founder, Adoniram Judson Gordon. This morning, we, we recognize three outstanding individuals as Gordon exemplars. Their professional lives take place in widely different spheres, but all three share an outstanding commitment to making a positive difference for the common good and an enthusiastic devotion to helping those of us in the important work of Christian higher education. I'll now invite Judge Herman Smith, chairman of our board, to join me on stage for the conferring of the honorary degrees. Our first honoree is a prime exemplar, exemplar of the truth once spoken of by John F. Kennedy, that leadership and learning are indispensable to each other. An internationally known expert on corporate governance and social responsibility, Simon Shunman Ho serves as the president of Hang Seng Management College in Hong Kong. 
Along with those substantial responsibilities, he also serves as chairman of the Hong Kong Corporate Governance Forum, as a council member of the China Higher Education Association, as a board member for several professional associations, and an advisor to a number of different international bodies. In 2006, President Ho formed a strategic alliance with more than 15 different corporate governance research centers around the world. In 2008, he was recognized with two significant honors. He became the first Chinese person in the world to whom the Aspen Institute awarded its Faculty Pioneer Award. He was also elected one of 2008's 100 Most Influential People in Business Ethics by Ethisphere. In 2013, the China Private Enterprise Economic Research Association presented him with the Chinese Family Business Research Pioneer Award. And those of us here at Gordon College are grateful that among the partnerships <coughs> President Ho has forged is a student exchange agreement between Gordon College and Hang Seng Management College. It allows Gordon students to study abroad in Hong Kong at his institution and his students to come and study here at Gordon College on our campus each year. The president, trustees, and faculty of Gordon College are pleased to honor uh, Simon Shun Man Ho, an internationally known expert on corporate governance. Simon Ho encourages businesses to pursue innovations that foster both economic and social values. As president of Hang Seng Management College in Hong Kong, he is committed to nurturing satisfied, soulful, and socially responsible graduates. He is an influential, enthusiastic advocate for the liberal arts. For his visionary work as an educational leader in Asia and his partnership with Gordon College to nurture students to become future leaders, Gordon College honors Simon Ho by conferring upon him the degree of Doctor of Business Honoris Causa. Thank you, President Lindsay, the Board of Trustees, and the faculty for this wonderful honor. I can't tell you how delighted I'm here, especially on the occasion of the third anniversary of the collaboration between Gordon College and Hanson Management College. I accept this honors, honorable degree of business with humility, gratitude, and pride. In depth, our two colleges share many common educational ideals and initiatives which include nurturing our students to become responsible citizens and future leaders through liberal art education. For the graduates today, I congratulate you all for your deserving accomplishment. I trust over the years you spent at Gordon were transformative. When you are about to leave Gordon College, you become a confident person, knowing much better your own beliefs and values, your interests and priority in work and life, and your strength. And you know why you want to be a person of values, not only a person of success. Our values and passions will take us to places we don't always expect. So respond to your calling even if it's not in your original plan. Choose a vocation which you will find the greatest joy and meaning. Again, congratulations to all of you, and thank you very much. You might call our second honoree a modern day Barnabas. The New Testament Barnabas, you recall, was sent out by the Jerusalem Council to nurture and oversee the fledgling church of Antioch, where Jewish and Gentile converts were just beginning to find an identity together as the body of Christ. The name Barnabas means son of encouragement. Woody White began his career on Wall Street with Merrill Lynch and Company. A subsequent position as executive director of Encounter Ministries led him in 1976 to the Cecil B. Day Foundation, 
an organization whose mission is to strengthen local churches across the six New England states in the areas of evangelism, missions, discipleship, and leadership training for pastors. During his many years with the Day Foundation, Mr. White brought encouragement and practical help to over 12,000 churches and ministries and over 18,000 pastors. And he logged over 275,000 miles traveling throughout New England in the process. He has served on the boards of the Salvation Army, the Haggai Institute, the Lord's Day Alliance of the US, Pace Academy, the Fox Theater in Atlanta, and the 1996 Olympics More Than Gold Ministry. In 1996, the Religious Heritage of America Foundation recognized him with their Churchman of the Year Award. <clears throat> we are also grateful at Gordon for Mr. White's faithful support of the church in New England and supporting the work of helping to launch Deep Faith Week five years ago, Gordon's annual time of spiritual encouragement, prayer, refreshment, and reflection. The president, trustees, and faculty of Gordon College are pleased to honor Edward Woody L. White, Jr., a committed churchman and trusted advisor to many leaders and the visionary behind Gordon's annual Deep Faith Week. Woody White has served the body of Christ in myriad ways. As president of the Cecil B. Day Foundation, he has worked tirelessly to strengthen local churches across the six New England states in their witness for Jesus Christ. For his strategic vision for spreading the gospel and for his tireless promotion of Christian outreach in New England, Gordon College honors Woody White by conferring upon him the degree of Doctor of Divinity, Honoris Causa. Good afternoon. I'm humbled and honored by this recognition. You know, God's Word says in 1 Corinthians 3, verses 6 and 7, I planted, Apollos watered, but God made it grow. He who plants and he who waters is nothing, but only God who gives the increase. And to him, I recognize and say, thank you, Lord. Also, I say to you, Michael, and to you, Herman, and the, and the college, thank you for this most unexpected uh, award for me. Over 50 years ago, Cecil and Dean Day, the late Cecil and Dean Day, got a vision from the Lord to do something to help the churches across the six New England states. Dean, I'm delighted that you can be here today to be a part of this ceremony. It's truly remarkable what God will do when you abandon yourself to him. Furthermore, as you would know, there's a team of people, some of which are here today, that I would have to recognize and say thank you for what you've done to have a part in, in this uh, ministry. My wife, Jenny, has, had, has given me wholehearted support throughout the 40 years I've been doing this and traveling across the New England states. I couldn't have done it without her support, as well as those of my daughters and uh, one son-in-law. To the graduates, I would say to you uh, the following. You were reminded last night at baccalaureate that uh, boundaries you need to set and, and visions that you have, you want God to bless and use you in mighty ways. And you've been greatly encouraged by that, starting with the mission of Gordon right down to today and what you've been hearing. So the most important thing is, as I learned very early in my career, as it says in Proverbs, commit your ways to the Lord and he will make your plans and establish them. So I congratulate you upon graduation today and wish you God's best for the future. Thank you again, Michael. The Book of Common Prayer contains a prayer in it entitled, For Those Who Influence Public Opinion. It asks that those, quote, who speak where many listen and write what many will read would do their part in making the heart of this people wise, its mind sound, 
and it's will righteous to honor the Lord Jesus Christ. Our third honoree, Ravi Zacharias, is certainly one of those influencers. Ravi is the founder and president of Ravi Zacharias International Ministries, an evangelistic and apologetics ministry whose mission is to reach and challenge those who shape the ideas of a culture with the credibility of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mr. Zacharias is host of the radio programs Let My People Think and Just Thinking. <clears throat> He's also the author or editor of over 20 different books, including the gold medallion winner, Can Man Live Without God? He has literally spoken all over the world in scores of universities and advised key leaders in the political realm, including senators, congressmen, and governors. He's addressed writers of the peace accord in South Africa, military officers at the Lenin Military Academy and Center for Geopolitical Strategy in Moscow, and delegates at the first annual prayer breakfast for African leaders held in Mozambique. As the 2008 honorary chairman of the National Day of Prayer, he's given addresses at both the White House and the Pentagon. We are grateful that Ravi Zacharias has used his considerable talents in so many ways that glorify God and advance God's kingdom. The president, trustees, and faculty of Gordon College are pleased to honor Ravi Zacharias. The founder and president of Ravi Zacharias International Ministries, he has spoken in venues ranging from CNN to the United Nations Annual Prayer Breakfast. A minister, a scholar, and a devoted defender of the truth, he has changed lives through more than 20 influential books, faith-based broadcasts that reach worldwide, and personal engagement with college students regarding critical questions about the Christian faith. For his range and effectiveness as a worldwide evangelist for the gospel of Jesus Christ, Gordon College honors Ravi Zacharias by conferring upon him the degree of Doctor of Public Service, Honoris Causa. My favorite essayist, F.W. Borum, has a line that I've carried for many years. He says this, it puts iron into the blood to spend time with one for whom the claim of conscience is supreme and who loves the truth of Christ with so deathless an affection. And over these many decades, it's been an honor for me to spend time with people like that. But maybe no one more than my dear wife, Margie. Last week, we celebrated 44 years of marriage. It was just an amazing thing. To be married to an itinerant is an extraordinary calling and commitment. You can imagine what she has gone through over four decades of this. So really, if anybody deserves this hood and this honor, it's my wife, Margie, who's in the audience here. So when I return home, I shall be honored to place this and drape it over her shoulders. <laughs> so to all of you at Gordon and to the leadership here, I just want to say a heartfelt thank you for honoring my family in this way, because really, without them, this would not have been possible. And to you students, you'll be thrilled to know I have nothing left to say to you after last <laughs> night. God bless you, and I wish you all the best, and thank you for this honor. And this honor. My name's Tori, and I've had the privilege of serving as your commencement director for this year. And my name's Emily, and I'm the senior class representative. So congratulations, senior class. Let's just take a moment and realize that we have spent almost a fifth of our lives in this place. And I'm so honored to say that I've gone through that with you all. So each year, the senior class has the tradition of leaving Gordon with a parting gift. This year, something new happened. For the first time, the senior class gift was chosen by a popular vote. This set the foundation for this year's gift to be one given in solidarity. This year, our gift to Gordon College 
is the senior class helping to make it possible to bring a van to campus which is accessible to all students, including wheelchair accessible. This is something the campus previously has not had. We think that this gift embodies the thoughtfulness and intentionality that our class has grown to be known for. We are proud to see our class choose a gift that may not be around forever, but directly fills a need in a community that we've grown to care so much about. So senior class, we did not just make it through Gordon, but we're also leaving behind something for this community that we love. With this great goal we set for ourselves came the great need for participation. We knew in order to make this goal a reality, we needed everyone in the senior class to rally behind a cause. And I am so proud to stand before you today and say that 54% of our class participated towards reaching this goal. That is a record for the college and more than three times what classes before us have done. I am also so proud to say that in partnership with our college and in due in part for, through our gifts, the college will be receiving this van this summer. So I would like to say thank you to the commencement committee for your tireless efforts towards making this goal a reality. And I'd like to thank the seniors, each and every one of you, for the conversations you had about giving and the consideration you gave towards this gift. When we were trying to raise participation and funds, we told people that every person matters. I feel like we grew up hearing this and it becomes cliche over time, but this is proof that when each person gets involved and the community rallies behind a cause, change can happen. So, as your commencement director and your representative, congratulations, congratulations class, class of 2016, 2016. we did it. You may have noticed the shiny gold keys worn by some of our graduates. These keys bear the insignia of Phi Alpha Chi, the Scholastic Honor Society of Gordon College. This honor society was founded in 1928 by a group of alumni of the then Gordon College of Theology and Missions in Boston to recognize high academic achievement and honor those students who attain it. The society, whose Greek name is translated Lovers of the Truth of Christ, seeks to recognize high scholarship and clear thinking and to encourage and foster research and creative expression in every discipline. New members are elected to the society by the executive committee following the recommendation of the student's academic advisor and vote of the faculty. Candidates must have completed at least four terms at Gordon and be graduating seniors. At this time, I ask the members of Phi Alpha Chi, the inductees for 2016, to stand. And we congratulate them with our applause. I would also like to ask any alumni members of Phi Alpha Chi to stand and join them as well. Congratulations. Before announcing this year's winners of the Distinguished Faculty Awards, I would like to briefly recognize our one retiring faculty member one more time. Professor of Biblical and Theological Studies and Terrell B. Crum, Chair of Humanities, Dr. Roger Green began teaching at Barrington College in 1970 and joined the faculty at Gordon with the merger of the two institutions in 1985. After more than 40 years of teaching, during which he influenced thousands of lives in his New Testament and theology courses, Roger and his wife Karen will lead one more pilgrimage to the Holy Land this summer before his retirement. Roger, we are grateful for all of the memories, wisdom, and smiles you've given to our community. Would you please stand to be recognized?
The Senior and Junior Distinguished Faculty Awards are given annually to two faculty members in recognition of their teaching, scholarship, and service to the institution. The Junior Award is presented to an assistant or associate professor, and the Senior Award is presented to a full professor. The awards are based on nominations submitted by graduating seniors and by faculty and the selection of the final recipients is made from among the group of top nominees by a panel, panel of previous award winners. This year's Junior Distinguished Faculty Award winner is something of a translator and boundary crosser. I think it comes from being a third culture kid. He works across disciplines, Spanish, communication arts, and theology, he works across mediums, text and film, food and poetry. He bridges the academic world with popular culture, making connections among such topics as Marilyn Monroe, the Korean War, Picasso, and Bruce Lee. If you want to see him light up, just bring up the topic of film. So not surprisingly, over the past few years, he has authored multiple publications on Spanish and Latin American film. Who is this great translator and boundary crosser? As one of his colleagues asks, where did Moises come from? <laughs> is he from Korea or Chile or Brazil or Michigan or California? Does he identify more with Latino culture or Asian culture? Is his style hipster or just plain hip? <laughs> and my question is, will we next see him in cowboy boots and a cowboy hat? <laughs> the truth is that he embodies, embodies all of these things for he seems to float at the confluence of an unending flow of languages, culture, aesthetics, and sensibilities. Please join me in congratulating this year's Junior Distinguished Faculty Award winner, Dr. Moises Park. contemplating all the commonalities I share with this year's recipient of the Senior Distinguished Faculty Award. We both have Midwestern accents, for example, or should I say no accents at all? We both uh, have children. We also both know what it means to go to Green Lake. Both of us have fathers who are Baptist ministers who are committed to missions. Amazingly enough, we will soon have lived in three of the same places, Hong Kong, Hamilton, and West Michigan, but not in the same order. We both have close relatives with the name Anne. And of course, we both took two economics courses in graduate school. I stopped there. This individual is an excellent scholar who is nationally recognized in his discipline and has been a leader among the Christians in his discipline, enhancing the integration of faith and learning that is so central to Gordon's mission. If you travel across the country and meet alums, they will talk about him as an outstanding teacher and mentor. And he has been an exceptional institutional leader serving as department chair for many years, developing and directing Gordon's International Affairs Program, serving on faculty senate, faculty welfare committee, and this year providing leadership in the refinement of the core curriculum on the academic programs committee. As one colleague says, he is the consummate teacher scholar servant. In my four years at Gordon, I have grown to appreciate his thoughtfulness, his deep faith, and his excellence in all areas of his role as a faculty member. So please join me in congratulating Professor of Economics and Business, Dr. Stephen Smith, this year's Senior Award winner.
are you done with your papers? <laughs> yes, are you done with, you are done with your exams, I know. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts please rise? Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science please rise? Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Music please rise? <laughs> President Lindsay, upon the recommendation of the Gordon College faculty, I am pleased to present to you these students who through diligent study have completed all the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Music. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, and in accordance with the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and by a vote of the faculty and trustees, I take great pleasure in conferring upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Music with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Graduates, you may move your tassels. Gordon College, faculty and students often enjoy close mentoring and working relationships. In that spirit of collegiality, we have a tradition where the names of the graduates are read by their respective department chairpersons. Now, I am pleased to present to you the class of 2016. Will all of the graduates from the Department of Art Please come forward, and the other graduates may be seated. Camelia Ald, cum laude. Chapman Bettis III. Marin Hope Butterworth, cum laude. Rebecca Carmer, magna cum laude. Mariah Brittany Geiger, magna cum laude. Mark Sandev Handy, summa cum laude. Rachel Hannon, summa cum laude. Sewan Huang. Andrew Manning, summa cum laude. Rachel Marie Margolis. Rachel Margaret Nykirk, summa cum laude. Tess Obenshain. Caitlin Riggs. Sarah Elizabeth Ruvo. Department of Biblical Studies and Christian Ministries. Janie Catherine Conti. Leonardo Pereira de Souza. Kareem Kika Gobriel, magna cum laude. Krista Ali Hamaker. Caitlin M. Hahn, summa cum laude. Nathan Alexander Howe. Sangwok Lee, summa cum laude. Daniel Lewis Marama. Aaron Joan Preston. Christopher Nisea Samuel. Jennifer Straka Mickle, summa cum laude. Douglas Morley Walker. Christopher William Warren. Landon Timothy Butler. Andrea Lauren Cassian. Annalise Beverly Deckert. Jonathan Farini. Yeah. 
Nicholas K. Hannigan. Kristen Elizabeth Herr, summa cum laude. Christopher Lajones. Sarah Jean Marie Lapitan. Kelsey Louise Layton. James Philip Mercier, summa cum laude, Pike Scholar. Pranav Singh. Justin Thumhart. From the Department of Biology, Kirsten Biren. Brian Matthew Cardellaro. John Logan Cashin. Jonna Lachelle Clark. Stephen J. Cooper. Nadira Daniels. Hannah McKellar Dunn. April Dupi, summa cum laude. Christian Garzon. Jane Bailey Grinnell, summa cum laude. Hello. Laura Lynn Haas. Joseph Alden Iriana III, magna cum laude. Christian Ivan Ishmael. <laughs> Melissa Laurence Alaïs Gentil. <laughs> Jasmine Johnson. <laughs> Margot Lee. <laughs> Michael William Lero, summa cum laude. Abigail Anna Lutz, summa cum laude. Lauren Bernice Purdy. Emily Judith Ryan, summa cum laude. Catherine Melissa, Melissa Schweitzer. John Bernard Sexton. Yeun Song. Aaron Lee Walker. Ryan Lindell Williamson. Sarah Rose Zydema, summa cum laude. From the Department of Chemistry, Ashley Arthur Brooke. Daniel Normal Norman Defoe. Kaylee Virginia Jones. Kirsty Elizabeth McLean. Andrew James Swartzel. The Department of Communication Arts. Bruce Lee Cherry. Brenton B. Cosden. Paul James Crookston, summa cum laude. Abigail Flynn. Abigail Ruth Foster. Paula Susana Franco Sanchez. Victoria Ashley Goble. Sarah E. Goss, Irene Gould, Jordana Haskins, okay. Taylor Hawks, 
Sarah Joan Hankles, summa cum laude. Wilson Stone Kaiser. Allison Teresa Morin. Alexandra Held Mora. Mackenzie Lynn Sane, signs. Got it. Aaron Jacob Scott. James Secord. <laughs> Teresa Antonia Sterling. <laughs> Summa cum laude. Samuel Ethan Young Min Sullivan. <laughs> Kelly Turk. <laughs> Samantha Vivian. <laughs> Viviana Vargas Vivianco, Summa cum laude, Pike Scholar. The Department of Economics and Business, Jamie N. Breton, Nathaniel Sintolo, Ryan Peter Daly, Molly Elizabeth Eckholm, magna cum laude, Zara Fatima, Kelsey Grace Gauman, Christina Marie Martin, Yudoka Obiora, cum laude, Mary June Orion, Elizabeth Rochelle Stevens, magna cum laude, Caleb Adam Best, Andrew Lee Bugden, Jessica Elizabeth Burdick, Samuel James Capo, Michael William Egan, Cody G J. Greenwald, Chan He Kim, Chan Mi Kim, summa cum laude. Malia C. Marstaller. Jake Lewis Martin. Sydney Patrice May. Christina Meneghini, magna cum laude. Drew Morgan. Grace Christina Nowak. Joseph Allen Reedy, summa cum laude. You forget to write. Muriel Renford. Jack Ryan. Laura Taylor Shirillo. Michael Donald Utz. Ryan Utz. Christina Waller. Rachel Elizabeth Yankee, cum laude. Victoria K. Yasharian. Colin William Bradley. Joseph Clark Daugherty. Kristen Guardado. Joshua Charles Hill, summa cum laude. L. Elise Perkins. Benjamin Moses, cum laude. Tristan Michael Ryan. Eric Matthew Walker, magnum cum laude. Cassandra Wetzel. Taylor James Akers. Ryan Timothy Block. Jason Castellusi, Joseph Bruce Gerberich, Nathaniel S. V. Hunt, Sanjol Anthony Kim, summa cum laude, Peter Kovacevic, 
summa cum laude. David Langdon Pearson. Alexander Keith Russell. Sarah Faith Schmidt. Aaron Dale Smith. The Department of International Affairs. Natalie Angela Assad. Emma Victoria Barclay, summa cum laude. Joel Kingsley Cox, summa cum laude. Kara Jade Fuller Mendocino. Nathaniel Giordano, magnum cum laude. Amela Glenice Israel, summa cum laude. Margaret McMillan, cum laude. Asafa Nascimento Morada Faria, cum laude. Jaya Lynn Rastogi. Anna Breton Sukanek. The Department of Early Childhood and Elementary Education. Sarah Allen, summa cum laude. Grace Kim Amnot. Erin Elizabeth Buckley, magna cum laude. Ashton Marie Burke. Kristen H. Lee, Departmental Honors. Janelle Theriault. Allison Nicole Vitali, summa cum laude, Departmental Honors. Kelsey Baker. Kimberly Grace File. Ashley Gerard, <laughs> Olivia Marion Losey, magna cum laude, Donna Martinez, <laughs> Allison Rabideau, <laughs> Samantha Lee Ritter, Sarah Judith Warren. Tawny Nicole Yao, summa cum laude, departmental honors. The Department of Middle School and Secondary Education. Richard Quentin Armand. Abigail Luzzi. Shelby Palafox, magna cum laude. Lydia Faye Stoltzfus, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Grace Curry, cum laude. Joshua T. Guerin. Rachel Elizabeth Carner. Matthew Thomas Lewis. Caitlin Louise Lindsay. Marissa L. Meenan, magna cum laude. Angel Ty Nguyen. Carly J. Nussbaum. The Department of English, Brandon J. Briggs. Claire Marie Campbell, magna cum laude. Alyssa Joy Frederico, cum laude. 
Lydia May Good, summa cum laude. Brian Henry Imke. Hannah Jang, summa cum laude. Christopher Philip Jones, summa cum laude, departmental honors. Joshua Richard Kaplan. Nora Elizabeth Kirkham, magna cum laude, departmental honors. Michael Osman Mansare. Victoria Swain Pearson, Departmental Honors. <laughs> Haley Joy Petri, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors. <laughs> Alexandria Riviera. <laughs> Margaret Marion Swafford, Summa Cum Laude, Departmental Honors. <laughs> Sarah Grace Tweed, magna cum laude, departmental honors. Christiana Lynn Urbano, summa cum laude, departmental honors. David Andrew Vogel, magna cum laude. Nathaniel James Wenker, summa cum laude. Department of History, Yeun Bang. <laughs> Timothy Sungmoon Chung. <laughs> Benjamin Alden Reinhold Conley. Elsbeth Rose Curry, summa cum laude, Pike Scholar, Departmental Honors. Daniel Richard Fulton. Catherine Louise Gilbert, magna cum laude, Pike Scholar. Mary Elizabeth Heerholzer, magna cum laude. <laughs> Joshua M. Jenkins, U.S. Petty Officer, uh, U.S. Navy. <laughs> Peter Johnson Connectly. Amy Sue Lotz, cum laude. Aiden Everett Lucas. Cameron Todd Lucas. Daniel L. Mahutka. Anna Obert. James Pago. Sarah L. A. Sheldon, summa cum laude. Paul Stapleton, summa cum laude, departmental honors. Kate Elizabeth Tyndall. Larry Torres. Hunter Truman Ward. The Department of Kinesiology. Megan Azadian. Kirsten Burgess. Liana Don DeFonso Summa Cum Laude. 
Brian R. DeSimone. Mackenzie Judith Dion Cumulade. Roger Williams Evans III Cum Laude. Joshua Flores. Jessica Caroline Elizabeth Griffin. Alexis Faith Hahn. Scott Hall. Patrick John Hammer. Elizabeth Ann Hinckley, summa cum laude. Laura Rose Caven. Morgan Knowles, summa cum laude. Andrew Harrison Lewis. Jennifer Elizabeth McGrady. Elizabeth Warner Norsini. Jessica M. Port, magna cum laude. Cameron Schofield. Nicole Elizabeth St. Martin. Amy Urbanic. Kayla Winchester. Recreation, Sport, and Wellness. Mario D'Agostino Farner. Thank you. <laughs> Joshua Alexander Carmer. Thank you. We'll get, we'll get this Emily Irene David, cum laude. Lydia Hope Ellsworth. Nathan James Engel. We made it. <laughs> Hannah Michelle Fisher, magna cum laude. Thank you. Carissa Joy Fraser. Damaris Melina Gibaldi. Thank you. Nathaniel Allen Hairston. Josiah William Lero. Alexander Thomas Smith. Stephen Jessup Song. Olivia Joy Viteri. Department of Languages and Linguistics. Ryan D. Yetner. Bethany Autumn Beckwith. Christopher W. Carlson, Jr. Samantha Nicole Fiore. Barrett Goodwin. <laughs> Melanie Hyo, Hyo In Han. Summa cum laude, Department Honors. <laughs> Rachel J. Hayes, Summa cum laude. <laughs> Heather Irwin. Hannah Kapler, summa cum laude, Department Honors. Catherine A. Mader. Your son, Paulina Park. Hannah Lynn Plantinga, magna cum laude. Patricia Anali Cepeda. The Department of Mathematics and Computer Science. Benjamin Stephen Bowden, magna cum laude. Eric L. Friend. Zachary C. Hall, summa cum laude. 
Wesley L. Nelson, summa cum laude, departmental honors. Jacob Butner. Cody Davey. Jonathan Charles Manos. Travis Pullen. Joshua Joseph Richard. Stephen C. Smith. Dane Vandenberg. The Department of Music. Rachel Elaine Cates, magna cum laude. <laughs> Stephanie Isabella Susan Marsh. Benjamin Tuck. Dalton McKee Wiener, cum laude. Amy Lisette Belluma, cum laude. Jeffrey Bianchin. <laughs> Xiomara Diaz, magna cum laude. Devro Geiger, magna cum laude. Jacob William Sight, summa cum laude. Marissa Smith, summa cum laude. Rebecca Falcons Welke, summa cum laude. Nathaniel Robert Stowe. The Department of Philosophy. Scott Jeffrey Anderson. Bernardo Miranda, magna cum laude. Darian Paul Peralt. Javier Ricardo Sacido. The Physics Department. Ian Timothy Bleeker, summa cum laude. Benjamin David Chamberlain. Daniel Champion Fauber, cum laude. Nicholas Stephen Dice Hams, cum laude, departmental honors. Timothy D. Jordan, summa cum laude, departmental honors. Hunter Obenshane. Jessica L. Pankratz. Cody Farrell Flynn, cum laude. Devin Ford. Nathan Robert Swain. Christian Sondergaard Wagner, summa cum laude. Department of Political Science. Alexander Charles Bastian. Zachary John Chekowitz, summa cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth Cox, magna cum laude. Jeffrey A. Goss. Eric Christopher Hensel, summa cum laude. Emily James Ritchie Smith. Noelle Sanders. India Christina Sayer. Matthew Aram Shazad. Jacob Syed Cum Laude. Hannah Ashley Vanderlaan, 
summa cum laude. Michelle Shruti Wadawa Sharide. Hope Dora Zichterman, summa cum laude. Graduates from the Department of Psychology. Darini Anduhar, summa cum laude. <laughs> Stephanie Antonucci, magna cum laude. Brent Buckley. Timothy Lincoln Carr. Alina Casey. Sihua Chang, summa cum laude. Inua Chung. Alexandra Coburn. Kara Alexis Coleman. Kristen Luis Cooprider, summa cum laude. Seth Downing. Christina Ann Dugas. Mariah Gross, summa cum laude. Emily E. Hansen. Caitlin Harris. Olivia Laurel Heist. Aaron Daniel Hicks. Caitlin Amberly Keniston, cum laude. Shayla M. Lopez. Julianne Isabel McManus. Madison Rachel Mears. Hannah Ashley Murray. Alicia Nicole O'Brien. Kayleen Elizabeth Rogers. Jessica Safford. Kristen Hannah Tanglin, summa cum laude. Alyssa Janie Unum. Crystal Midori Vanderark, summa cum laude. Rebecca I. Finney, manna cum laude, Pike Scholar. The Department of Sociology and Social Work. Carl G. Brooks, Jr. Christina Halstead. Diamond Brooke Lopez. Aaron Elizabeth McNaughton. Anna Raquel Payson. James William Reese, summa cum laude. Rachel Sylvia Schultz. Jacob Charles Stevens. Sarah Mingguan Tang, magna cum laude. Chelsea Lynn Barilovitz. Julia Marie Bartos, magna cum laude. Leanne Beadle, magna cum laude. Rachel Paulina Birmingham. Alexis Berger. Teresa Christine Cook. Emily Catherine Koval, magna cum laude. Eleanor Gleason Duvall. Lily Marie Drescher. Amanda Claire Faranazzi. 
Rebecca Bray Fippen, magna cum laude. Lindsay Marie Harrington. Lauren Ashley Hayes. Rebecca Ellen Hugel. Joshua Jacob John, summa cum laude. Ani A. Karabashian. <laughs> Juhei Lee, cum laude. Jacqueline McCormick. <laughs> Naomi Anna Meekins. <laughs> Colette Lynn Newcomb, summa cum laude. Samantha Prescott. Emily Ramondetta. Elliot Rogers, magna cum laude. Amy Catherine Root, summa cum laude. Natasha Sharda Sakichand. Janine Alyssa Soroys. Tori Strickland. Andrew David Swanson, magna cum laude. Kazea Don C. Tan, cum laude. Rebecca D. Telfort. Moira Kathleen Tesher, cum laude. Corinne Eileen Wilder. The Department of Theater Arts. Crystal Rose DeVoe, cum laude. Michael Alfred Gaudio, summa cum laude. <laughs> Hannah Pentico. <laughs> Jessica Richmond, summa cum laude. Austin Schrader. Will the candidates for the degree Master of Education please rise? Will the candidates for degree Education Specialist please rise? Will the candidates for the degree Master of Music Education please rise? President Lindsay, upon the recommendation of the Gordon College faculty, I am very happy to present to you these students who through diligent study have completed all the requirements for the degree Master of Education, Education Specialist, and Master of Music Education. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and in accordance with the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, as well as by a vote of the faculty and trustees, I take great pleasure in conferring upon these graduates the degree Master of Education, Education Specialist, and Master of Music Education with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. We will now introduce the graduates and present to them their Masters in Education Specialist hoods. The tradition of hooding, hooding graduates derives from medieval custom where hoods were worn 
over ecclesi ecclesiastical robes and used to shield clerics and academics from the cold and the rain. In the United States today, the hood has become the symbol of the post-baccalaureate degree and the color of the velvet on the hood is emblematic of the advanced degree. The light blue color for education and the pink color for music. Carla J. Adams. Marines Arlea Poth. Nancy R. Bergner. Emily Claire Borden. Brian Scott Brierly. Kristen Burke. <laughs> Stephanie Miriam Callahan. <laughs> Neus Kamona Sus. <laughs> Melissa Ann Casagrande. Gina D'Alessandro Lupi. Tara Lee Davenport. Christine Ann Donovan. Lily Feng. Mary Francois. <laughs> Leah Marie Gerard. <laughs> Renee Glover. <laughs> Danielle Haven. Catherine Ann Hawkins. <laughs> Jennifer Joy Hendricks. <laughs> Thomas Wilson Brown Horsley. <laughs> Christine Eleanor Hunkler. Ina Jeong. Sarah Ann Johnson. Unbi Esther Ko. Maria Latuski. Elizabeth. A. McDavitt. <laughs> Melanie May Malfi. Sarah McKenna. Brianna Marie Napolitano. Caitlin Marie Noonan. <laughs> Megan Elise O'Connell. <laughs> Amy Gillian Pantano. <laughs> Sandra Renee Paviano Roman. Claudia Pizzuto. Yeah. 
Maria Kathleen Reese. Sally Lynn Sedoyan. Halla Ruth Salmon. Kauta Semeth. Katie Ann Scary. He Dong Tong. Kimberly Nicole Thornburn. Jean Carpenter Wittet. Cynthia M. Wilkinson. Roseanne Miller Young. Jillian Marie Zani. Education Specialist, Shirley Moulton Bikini. Kristen Ann Dentremont. Nancy Baldwin Kosh. Amanda Jean Lamantia. Joanne Maino. Elizabeth Ann Marchetti. Eric Allen Vent. Graduate Music Education. Amy Cecile Bedard. Talon David Bryant. Christine Joy Cannon. Sarah Gassert Carson. Amy LeMay Chandler. Patricia Louise Clark. Marlo A. Dennis. Eric Peter Fecky. Robert Anthony Finch. Samantha Jo Gelfon. Christine Elizabeth Larson. Norwood Timothy Pearson Waklawick. Caitlin Joelle Robarge. Woo! Kayla Schnell Megar. Allison.
Ellen Breen Yankowskis. Ladies and gentlemen, we will present to you the 2016 graduates of Gordon College. I now invite Tom Haugen, our chaplain, to come forward for the benediction. Tom. Please stand. Please stand. <laughs> May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you might overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen?